Okay, I have a new tool for training purposes and for practice. So um, I think this is a pretty neat invention. The projector, I've got a projector up here. It's got a software module attached to it. And all of this, I'd like to put a big shout out to Illuminated Cueing Arts for um, having such a great invention to help people with their pool game. So this, this whole little setup here took me about 10 minutes. All I had to do was put four balls out here on the table through the software, a big square for position play, and a little trapezoid triangle for position play. Then the path of the cue ball, which is called tracking. And it's, it's all pretty neat the way it works because your, your pool table ends up becoming your screen, your computer screen. So I can actually take this square and I can move it anywhere I want. I can do that with the, the balls, the tracking line, the, um, the triangle area. I can move it anywhere I want to move it. You know, let's go leave it right in here somewhere. So all I want to do is show a specific shot and I wanted to introduce my new tool that I'm going to start using on a lot of my videos. This is going to get me out of using cardboard and tape like I've done on some of them. I've had this software from Adobe Pro for a couple of years now but I've never really had the time to do it. Um, this is so much quicker. Like I said, it took me 10 minutes to make this. Adobe Photoshop, I mean Adobe Video Pro, in order for me to use that, I have to record the video, then take the video and put it on a computer, and then add all these lines and things to it. It's just so much more time consuming. Here, it took 10 minutes to make this. But for anyone that has a projector, or if you can find your projector, even ICATraining.com, that's the website for Illuminated Cueing Arts, they have projectors on there, but they're not in the projector business. They're in the software business that does these module type things. And even though I designed this one little shot that I want to show, I made this myself and saved it so I can bring it up anytime I want on the, on the system. It also, on their website, they have all kinds of different modules that you can download for a really small price com compared to the, the training that you get from it. So ICATraining.com, they've got probably thousands of drills and setups, run out setups, position play, it, you name it, they've got it. That illuminates it right onto your table. The, um, those people over there, they're working with Tor Lowry, Dr. Dave, Sheravari, the, the names, the list keeps going on. There's a Darren Appleton, uh, Thurston Holman. And now they're actually about to add a Poolology module that's downloadable. For anyone that has this system, they can download the Poolology Aiming System module and have practice shots and everything and all the diagrams from the Poolology book illuminated right on the table, right in front of your eyes, without having to have the book. So I'm, so I'm excited about that. But I'm really excited the fact that I've got this set up now and I can actually start doing shots like this without using cardboard and tape on the table. So I want to show this shot and then we'll just wrap the video up. So this comes up all the time. It's the last three balls of a nine ball rack or if the nine ball run up here, it could just be the last two balls of an eight ball rack or we're still playing eight ball, it could just be the eight ball rock, and I have to play the seven and then the eight. At this angle, I want to play position for here to shoot the eight in the side pocket. A lot of players are still going to opt out to get in this area. I mean, still going to opt for this area. My problem with that, anywhere between here and about here, if my cue ball is anywhere in there, I have really good control. That's an angle that you should know very easily how to manipulate the cue ball. It's not too steep. It's not too straight. You can do a lot with the cue ball in that area. It's about a 30 degree cut, 10 degrees thicker or 10 degrees thinner than 30 degrees. And you can do a lot with this, with that angle. And this happens to be a little bit thinner than a half ball probably by looking at it. And if I wanted to get into this area, to me, that's tough. That's tough. I have to go back and forth and then try to land right in there. I can't hit it soft enough just to roll up in here. 
So I have to go back and forth and, and hope I hit this area either this way or this way and back. But over here, just a little bottom right. I'm coming straight off into here easily. So I feel like this, I can hit six out of 10 times, maybe five out of 10 times. This I can hit nine out of 10 times. So it's a no brainer. You go for the one you're gonna do the most, the most consistent. That's gonna be up here for, for me for this shot. And if I'm here, now I'm outside of this comfortable cue ball control window for cutting balls. This is super thin. I mean, I'm either gonna bank this ball and play the cue ball off the rail over into here, or I'm gonna shoot it really thin to here and whiz it, have the cue ball go back and forth and hope that my speed is estimated just right to get in that window. Those are 50-50 shots. I mean, I, I can make the bank and get here, or I can make that ball and get in here. I don't like either one of those shots. But if I can keep it up here, I love coming this way. I, mean, I can do it every time. Um, what I'm getting at is this zone is a perfect zone to make the eight and get on the nine, makes it an easy shot, if I have the cue ball there. Because then I'll just shoot the seven down here, cue ball's gonna hit the rail, come over into this fat area of the zone, I'm setting good. Not a lot of cue ball work right there. Easy shot to do. It's easier than hitting it there and trying to come over here from this angle. But now I'm here, the angle's changed. It's a little too steep. It's easier to come over here. You just have to start recognizing that. Um, if the seven ball were here, that's a common sense shot. I'm just gonna shoot it, drift this way. Fundamental property or the fundamentals of position play means it's you go into the widest area toward your next shot. And this is going to be right off the rail end of the eight. It's, it's, I would come straight like it, just like that. You know, if the seven were here, I'm gonna shoot it just like this. Cue ball's gonna come off the rail, come right up into here. But I don't have that option when I'm setting like this. That's an easy shot. But I can't slow roll this and, and land here. I have to go here, back here, and then back across and hope that I land here. I could easily land there. I don't like this shot to shoot the eight, or I could land here. It's not a bad shot, but I try to, if I'm trying to get to the nine ball next, I have to use inside spin on this to catch the rail here, and come over this one, or straight top and hit it really firm so the cue ball hits here goes to here and then bends forward and comes over this way and hopefully gets me over there somewhere. It's just a much tougher shot if I can't keep it in this area. But from here, some right hand spin, I can come right up into here and I've got an easy shot on this eight ball in the side pocket. Even from there, anywhere in this area, I'm shooting the eight in the side, easy shot compared to shooting the eight in the corner from here or there. And position on the nine from anywhere in here would be easy also. Because um, if I'm out of line down here, this eight ball's only got about a two degree window to get into that pocket, two and a half degrees. So if I'm off just a little bit, which means if I manipulate the cue ball end of the shot with some English, I could just slightly miscut the eight and the eight's gonna do this and stay in the pocket and I'm gonna lose the game. Whereas if I'm up here, the eight is so close to the pocket, I've got about a 10 degree window for that pocket to accept the eight ball. So if I'm up here and I have to use some, some outside spin to bring the cue ball a couple of rails, I have more room for error. I can, I can use that spin without rattling that eight ball up. So I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's the reason why I would shoot the shot this way instead of trying to come across and hit this that I feel like I can hit six out of 10 times, maybe if I'm lucky up here, I feel like I can hit a nine out of 10. So when you get these kind of setups, think about that, going across a position zone versus coming into a bigger position zone where you'll have an easier shot. And that's the shot that I would prefer to do. So start incorporating that in your game. I think it'll help you out. This shot I'm gonna shoot with some low right spin. Um, I, I made the diagram, I haven't shot the shot yet. I, I'm not sure if this is the line it's gonna follow. That When I'm standing back here looking at this, 
that's what I'm picturing in my head. I'm picturing this ball coming off just like that. It may not be just like that, but we'll find out. Here we go. Low right. Pretty close. From here, straight draw. Straight draw shot brings the cue ball right into this rail and not to there. If I don't get enough draw, I'm, I'm just going to stop in there somewhere. So from here, I can get out. Even if I went, if I went to here, I would just shoot the eight, go down here and back up, or I could even spin it this way and go there and back to here. So anywhere from up here, I've got an easy shot on the eight that can get me to the nine without worrying about missing the eight ball. And if I were out of line over here or over there, trying to shoot the eight and get to the nine, I might miss the eight. It doesn't do any good to miss the ball right before the game ball. So from here, I'm just going to shoot this for straight draw. I'll probably put some low, a little bit of left hand spin. So when the cue ball catches the rail, it'll want to spin a little bit back this way. Yeah. Good shot. I'm going to start making more videos as time permits using this really cool software. You know, I'd like to say thank you again to Illuminated Cueing Arts. It's a great product. Um, I'll start even showing some of their stuff if I can get permission to do that. But those modules are downloadable if you've got one of the systems. If not, it's a good investment. For anybody that has a table at the house, gets one of these things, you project it out here like this, and it, it's really neat, really good. Hope you enjoyed it.